I have a heightened need for stimulation, which sometimes makes it difficult to focus on a single task. Well, sensory input is already overwhelming for me sometimes, and I don't necessarily love things that aren't in my routine. I feel trapped by needing new experiences and then feeling overstimulated by them. I struggle with planning, which means I procrastinate and I forget. I sometimes deal with rigid thinking and it makes it difficult to transition from task to task and really difficult to adapt when things change. It's like there's this tension between my need for impulsivity and my need for routine. And so when I miss deadlines or I procrastinate, I get really frustrated. It's like my brain just won't. My impulsiveness can lead to interrupting or missing social cues. If things aren't literal, I sometimes have difficulty understanding them, like social rules or nonverbal cues. I struggle to understand how I come across to others, and I get so exhausted from masking that I want to connect with people, but I feel so drained by it that sometimes I avoid it. I experience intense emotions and find it difficult to regulate my frustration or boredom. It feels like there are so many things happening in my brain at once that I could easily have a meltdown or I could easily shut down. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed that I freeze. And then sometimes I react before I even think. Oh yeah, I can hyperfocus on exciting and new activities, but sometimes I abandon them later. I can potentially be interested in something for my whole life and become an expert on it, basically. It's like I can't stop obsessing over my interests, but then I suddenly drop them and I feel kind of lost without them. Attempting to hide my impulsivity is so frustrating. It feels like I'm wearing a mask. Masking my autistic traits and trying to blend in with neurotypical people has taken me to some really dark places. Yeah, for me, it's like wearing two masks at once and it's constantly performing and it's led to severe burnout, anxiety, and depression. Oh yeah, when I'm in the zone, I see connections that others miss. That's true for me too. What I experience has forced me to get creative with my routines so that they actually work for me. Yeah, same here. I may not show it in a way that people expect, but I deeply care for others and I want to make a difference. That part. There is a huge co-occurrence of ADHD and autism. It's only been since 2013 that both conditions could be diagnosed together. Let's not forget about our ADHD friends this ADHD Awareness Month. And please, if you need to know anything about neurodiversity affirming practices, follow me at Support the Spectrum on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram.